Okay, here we go. November 28th, 1959. We're all gathered at Arthur and Janet Carl's in Rye to celebrate a multiple occasion. The most important celebrant on this occasion is Norma, who has her 70th birthday today, and I would like this young girl to say hello uh, to the whole gathering and to say a few words. Would you go ahead, Hello, Norma? greetings and love to you all, and thank you so much. Is that all you have to say? How about a few more words? I have nothing more to say. We want to forget birthdays after this. Finish. Were you surprised, Norma? Yes. You were surprised? Yes, I was. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. It was a lovely, lovely occasion. All these happy faces. Now Maybe I think I had a Norma only caught counts the summers, so that that's why she looks so young. Well, that's right. That's what I do. I've stopped counting. And that's the proper attitude to take. Best wishes to my little sister, Norma. <laughs> that was Julian, for any any posterity that may listen to this recording. What's that, Bob? You have to talk on the beam. No, this is known as talking on the beam. You don't have hand. to, Bob, because you're getting plenty of jism right here. I know, but it won't come through. It won't Gather come through. around me, girls and boys. Right, right, let's see. Gather around. All right. There are, there are, there are other celebrants here, too. Uh, for example, Brian Dwyer uh, is here, and he has a birthday coming up very soon. Where is Brian, anyway? Can we get Yes, but uh, may I interrupt to say that this also is in celebration of the Carl's uh, anniversary, wedding anniversary. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Our wedding anniversary. I wish them many, many happy returns of the day. Anniversary. Well, thank you very much. We'll have to get Janet in here on this. Yes, thing too, get Janet. Well, Mrs. Carl, if you had this whole thing to do all over again, do you think that you'd do it the same way? No, I do it very differently. Huh. Absolutely differently. But I'm not giving out. I'm not telling. How would you, how would you handle it if you did it differently? I'm not telling. You mean my my, my, my life? Your life. Your life. This is your life. This is your life. And here, here comes your sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, may, may I test this? Let me just try while we're looking for Brian and for Here he is, here he is. Oh, here's Brian. Well, I'd better test it before he comes in anyway. Just a moment now. <laughs> oh, no, no rehearsing here. I've called, I've called Judy over to lend a little support to Brian. Uh, suppose the two of you get together and say a couple of things. Just well, a few. Well, yes, well, of course, it's Brian's birthday. It's not yours. Well, my birthday, it's, it's my birthday is soon, but I feel that this is Grandma Norm's party. And I just hope... Happy I just hope from all three of us. <laughs> all three. Who will it be? About 40, 48. And may she always look as lovely and happy as she is tonight. 21 plus. Now, I, 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 uh, I asked the same question. I'm the inquiry reporter. Now, if you had it all to do all over again, would you do it the same way? I just asked this question. Now, please answer. You're on the air now, and you must answer. I plead the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> no, plead the Fifth Amendment. If you want to plead the First Amendment, okay, that's freedom of speech. Yes. But not the Fifth Amendment. You... Well, of course, I do it the same way. And Brian, how about you? I feel the same way. Yes. Yeah. You feel the I same way. Same. You do the well, same. Well, may I say that there you? is nothing like you? Would you do the same thing? <laughs> I'm a guy who asks for <laughs> <you. laughs> Well, father and father-in-law to make, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And grandfather to be. And grandfather to be, <laughs> indeed, yes. That's right. You'll be official. Oh, boy. Isn't that awesome? Yes. How soon are you going to pop? Here, here, according to my watch, it's the 28th. What should we figure on? Uh, Ten days. You guarantee a date? No. No. Oh, well, all right. That's Monday. You know, Judy, you're making me feel terribly old. You're going to be a great I, uncle. I didn't think that I'd be a great you uncle for oh, years and years and years. I forgot about that. And now look what's going to happen. Great I'm going to be a great uncle. And not, uh, and not far from there, I'll be a grandfather. That's the next step, and believe me, I'll let you know, Wal, how it feels. I'll help to prepare you. Norm is the prospective great-grandmother, and this is your first great-grandmothership. What do you have to say about this? 
Well, we're looking forward to the event with great pleasure and joy. I'm sure that everybody's <laughs> looking forward to the event. Even Judy's looking forward to it. Well, it'll come very quickly. It's what up, what's up front that counts, isn't it? I always think that about that ad. I think it's the funniest thing. Which ad? <laughs> Which ad? Is that what you think? Well, that shows how your mind works. Yes, yes. What, is, really what ad are you talking I'm about? I'm not going to repeat it anymore. I've got enough. Yes. I put my foot in it. Yes, is that you the ad where... That's not what Brian did, obviously, though. No. <laughs> is that the ad that says, does she or doesn't she? No, no. What's up for the Oh, what's up for the count? I see. Well, I was thinking of that Clairol ad, you know, that says... Oh, yes. Yeah. That you can does color your... Does she or doesn't she? Does she or doesn't she? Do I or don't I? No, you don't. No. You don't. Do I or don't I? What? They say, does she or doesn't she? Excuse me, enough of this first supplies. I think it's time to get the other birthday boy. All right. Stephen, and let's get Arlene along with him. Arlene, you will have to come too. Come on now. Come on now. What did you do with my speech I had prepared? (laughs) Stephen, when is your birthday? Come in here, Arlene. Uh, birthday is the 29th of... I don't remember, but ask my wife. <laughs> Arlene, when's his birthday? Arlene, it's do you know? tomorrow, November 29th. And you never sent me a birthday Isn't that card? wonderful? And that's our anniversary, too. Jeff really? and I, our anniversary at the same time. If How many we years? had known that... If How many years? years? It's going to be 26. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fantastic? Just how old I'm going to be tomorrow. Oh, you have... Now, Arlene and Stephen, (laughs) I've been assigned to ask the same question of all the people that we interview here. If you had the same thing to do... No, I didn't mean to say that. (laughs) If you had this to do all over again, would you do it in the same way? What, have his birthday? Now, you interpret that question the way you wish, and and I want to hear a good answer. Uh, Arlene, you first. I never knew you had that streak in you, Walter. <laughs> oh, that's no streak. I guess we would. You guess you would. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a very profound statement, Arlene. Uh, <laughs> may I have your profound statement, Stephen? I wish I could be as hasty as my wife, but I'd have to think that over. <laughs> oh, now there's a man who... I've thought it over. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> He got a pinch, I want you to know, folks. I can just see it. It's too bad that can't show on this tape. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, next, next time we'll have audio-visual. All right. Let, now, let's have a couple of others here. Now, Melvin, Melvin, bring Carrie over here. It's not, Mary, it's not Mary, your birthday, yeah. but something ought to be said so anyway. just got married. Where is Carrie? Record, anyway? Carrie, come here. We're going to record ourselves for posterity. Carrie. 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 Oh, oh. The two that I have this, this is my wife. Uh, she's not my daughter. She's my wife. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Say something. Well, you have, you have to say something. I'm better off not saying anything while I'm ahead. <laughs> what I would like to know is one of my first questions is, do you feel the same way about your kids as the grandparents do? I really, I can't take Oh, now, listen, we, we <laughs> want answers to these, Carrie. You can't just walk away and not face life in reality. And you microphones must, and so and on. And microphones. This thing absolutely frightens me. Yes, we'll really talk into it. <laughs> That's why I don't want to talk into it. Well, you don't have to talk Oh, honey, I'll let my husband take over and speak for both of us. Well, we, we, we isn't, that a wi- isn't that a wifely attitude, We, we feel that our children are... Uh, are uh, much better than the grandparents think they are, only in a different way. We have tax exemptions from them, <laughs> and uh, they're, they're sources of all sorts of um, benefits to the entire uh, uh, economic system of our uh, way of life. And, and, no one, very and no one has yet figured out a computer way to achieve them. No, that's absolutely correct. And they Legal. Well, you are. <laughs> Would you, would you say that they're gems in the rough or just plain gems? Oh, definitely gems. Uh, or jams. Gems. Gems, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity of wishing in a very uh, happy birthday. And I speak for my wife who's speechless, uh, and, and she echoes me, I'm sure. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next. Uh, we have a man on the street. Uh, we'd like to get the man on the street's viewpoint. Hey, Gwen. It's a very important question. What are you doing here? Gwen, where is Alice? We, we get, coming right in. We Mr. Get, Mr. Z, this, here. now we would like to ask you, Mr. Z, if you had the same thing to do all over again, would you do it in the same way? No, I yeah. certainly would not. You wouldn't. Yeah. I've given this a lot of thought, and uh, I want you to realize... You answered very quickly, Mr. Z. Well, that was I, uh, without any I, real... I don't have any, any, uh, any misgivings whatever about telling you that... 
Life has had a number of joys, but it's also had quite a number of disappointments for me. Well, I like the profound <laughs> statements that are being given by our guest today. I think I realize that, that, you know, this opportunity doesn't happen very often. I mean, who is next on this birthday kick? Well, <laughs> as soon as your wife, who probably took her time dressing today and just you couldn't squeeze her out of the house, comes along and then she is. We'll continue this discussion. Um, now, this is Carl. My name is Minnie, dear. And who are you? Oh, she started off by being a Carl. Is this working? That's right. She started yeah. off by being Carl, but now it's yeah, Mrs. Z. And we just asked your husband a very, very important question. I'm not going to tell you how he answers it. Uh -huh. Let's see how you do, Mrs. Carl. Yes. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Carl. Mrs. Z. Mrs. Go Z. On. If you had the same thing to do all over again, would you do it in the same way? Or please elaborate on just how you would do it. You mean just today or for the past 15 years? You interpret that question the way you wish. I don't want you to just ask me more questions. I've asked you a question. I would not do it the same way again. That well, would be very foolhardy. Well, you are the first honest woman that's been on this program. This there are many world. changes I'd make. <laughs> would you like to say something about the combination of birthdays, mamas, and, and Stephen? It's a great and wonderful thing. A 15th anniversary. What anniversary of yours? 26. 26th anniversary. A 30th or a 30th? And Bob is 27. And what is Stephen's birthday tomorrow? Stephen's going to be 49 tomorrow. And, and Grandma's going to be 106 on the 2nd. And Marnie's going to be 8 on the 7th of December. And it's a great time. Hi, Brian. How are you? And I'm glad to be here and may I have a drink. And I'll go on record to that. Okay. Nice. Uh, just let me stop this thing. Okay. Anything spontaneous? Anything whatever. Anything and Norma, I just want to tell you that the first 55 years are the hardest, and I hope the next 55 will be just as happy for you from your nephew, Eddie. Thank you. Well, that's a very nice remark to make, Well, I'm Eddie. very thrilled to be okay. here at this party, and I know Norma's thrilled, too, even though she wanted no recognition of it at all, but she just loves it, and I hope we'll be here at many, many more parties. Well, I'm, I'm uh, certainly... All right, is that okay? Yes, I think that's fine. And I think it's a very nice thing that Norma's being so gracious as to accept this yes, kind of recognition. Yes, I think so. Don't you? You know, you know, I must just tell you privately, and this is yeah. not for the benefit of anybody who may listen in years to come, but I've had a heck of a time with her. You know, I don't mark the years and so on, and yet there is a certain accretion of years that she's willing to have marked, and I think it's wonderful. I think it's just a wonderful thing, and I'm so glad to be here with all the family. Enough? Okay, bye. Well, I'd like to hear a couple of words from you two. Well, all I can all I can say is that I never in my life realized I'd be able to live with one woman for 33 years. And I will say that I think that we I am very lucky to be a part of the Freundlich family and with our offspring and our wonderful host and hostess, Janet and Arthur Carl, the one who always says I'm his beautiful aunt. <laughs> and I mean it, too. <laughs> and that's the best part of it. He's just a flatterer. Don't and let it I go to your head. I think it would be very lovely for this clan to come to our house sometime in January. How about it? Well, that would be very fine. We can't do it from the 22nd on. Well, we'll do it before the 22nd. All right, yeah. before the 22nd. <laughs> I'm making a date. All right, fine. We'll All do right. it. Anytime. What do you mean, what are you going to say? Blanche Carl and I want to say I think it's very, very sweet and charming and lovely of Arthur and Janet to make this beautiful party for Norma and... Uh, for all the relatives who don't have much chance of getting together, and I'm very happy that we were able to come. And I and to supply the seven pies. Really hope that soon we'll have an opportunity to eat the turkey and the pies that we brought. Cause I'm hungry. Yeah, and, and well, my I'm name is well, my name is Vicky Carl, and I, uh, you were going to say something, Father. I was going to say something. I'm sorry that this is not visual because. You are. You now have before you a young lady that, in the past four months, has has turned into a shadow of her former self. She is beautiful, breathtaking. Okay. One time, well, we won't even talk about the past. And that goes double with her uncle Arthur. He thinks she is beautiful. Yeah. And her uncle Arthur is starting on the same kind of a diet, and in a little while, 
Our Uncle Arthur will be a shadow of his former self. Well, all I can say much. is flattery will get you get you nowhere unless Daddy takes us to Florida this winter. Oh, <laughs> which, I something which, like this was coming up. Which, and I can just say that I'm very glad that uh, that we all could get together here. And I'm, I just want to say I say happy birthday to to Grandma, and hope she has many more. And we promise not to count them, Grandma. And uh, I, and I hope that we eat the turkey soon because I've been starving myself all week just okay, to eat a Vicky, turkey. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, we seem to be functioning, and from the looks of things, this is about the right level. Well, come on now, Stephen. Here's your big moment. As a man who once had known the peace of bachelorhood, and his wife is watching him very carefully, tell us what you think about all of this. Come on now, stand up. I'm watching you very carefully. I can't stand up. I've been married three months, and I can't stand up anymore. That sounds like a very successful my marriage. My back is bowed. <laughs> my, my brow is bloodied. But Try that one. One bet. <laughs> now, look, I, what's today's date? I'm sure no one has put it in. Today is 11 28 And, um... And, uh, I've got the sig- There. It's going again. Now we have another member from the old generation. Yes. Who's pushing people aside. And and he's I'm not, he's not as old as you enough, think. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> well, now let's, you've got something more to say than that. Please. Let's, Stop me. let's hear from a woman. A woman's point. I'm about woman. to have my dessert. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to have a dessert. That's all she can think of. Well... Well, Counselor? Uh, all, all I can say is that the repast at the Calls residence this afternoon and this evening was tremendous. And I am led to think of that word plots from the French je plots. Conjugated je plots, tu plots, il plots, nu plots, on, vous plots, il plots. That is all. <laughs> Is it on? Go still going? It's still on. Yeah, if you don't want it, then put it on on stop.
the uh, electric guitar. Yeah. All right, so all right, Eric. Now do Rebel Rouse. Yeah. Come on. No, I I do something with I got something with Bob. Huh? There, there are a lot of pockets. No, do something, by yourself. do something by yourself. Do something by yourself, girl. Let's hear something by yourself. Yeah. 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 Dear Henry, 
dear Henry, we'll fix it, dear Henry. Dear Henry, we'll fix it. With what shall I fix it? With a straw you shall fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry. With a straw you shall fix it, dear Henry, with a straw. The straw is too long, dear Liza, dear Liza. The straw is too long, dear Liza, too long. We'll cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. We'll cut it, dear Henry. Dear Henry, for me, they cut it. The axe is too dull, dear Liza, dear Liza. The axe is too dull, dear Liza, too dull. Well, hone it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Well, hone it, dear Henry. Dear Henry, well, hone it. The stone is too dry. That's adorable. We're now going to have a solo by Miss Ann Eisner. Ann, come here a minute and say something, will you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, speak. I'm stage struck. You, you can get a little closer. All right. What? That's good enough. Speak, I'm speak stage to struck. us and say something. I wonder if you're coming through. Speak. This is rather high. Well, maybe Pull it down to size. You'll hear that the noise goes right on, on the thing. What okay, noise? let's let's hear you play something that you were going to play on, on the recorder. You mean I was going to play? Yeah, you don't have to lean. You can, you I'm really leaning don't against have to the. Cradle with that. I'm leaning against the oh, piano. Right. I was. Okay. Well. Shall okay. I look? Well. Well, all right. That's don't sad. you want to play the whole thing? No, I don't. Now it's recording. Why don't you do something? What shall I do? I can talk in a high voice. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, say hello there. Hello there. Out you there. mean I should talk in a different kind of a voice? Well, should I just play something on the piano? Will you have to sing five foot two and me? Darling, oh, je thanks. vous aime beaucoup. Oh, that's a wonderful song. There's not much tape here. Key. I always sing in the key of F. F. Oh. E. E. Cummings. All right. Buffalo Bill's defunct, who used to ride a Isn't water that? smooth silver stallion and break one, two, three, four, five pigeons, just like that. Jesus, he was a handsome man. And what I want to know is, how do you like your blue eyed boy, Mr. Death? Background music by Bob Carl. Friday afternoon. Temperatures 38. Forecast is mild for New York City in the vicinity. Rain on Sunday. So, all you resting up from the long hard week in the office. <laughs> hmm? 